Introduction to AP Courses. Which college did you attend, and what is your major? Did you receive college credit, and how did the AP courses help your application? Uh, hi, uh, I'm Chase Arrington. I am attending the University of Central Florida, which is in the college in Orlando. I am a third year computer engineering major, and I did receive credit for all of my AP courses. Uh, in fact, uh, my college uh, changed my GPA because I took so many. They 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 helped me out uh, and kind of bump my bump my score uh, my grades and everything a little bit uh, because of that. Like my entering GPA and everything. So that was really nice. And so I got credit all of them, no problem, no issue. Took, knocked out a lot of my general education. So that was time I saved, money I saved, and then. Most definitely, they helped me get into the college because most of these colleges, they even told me at initiation and everything, that it doesn't really matter if I pass them or not. Um, it just matters that you take them. They see that you tried. That's what they care about. It doesn't matter that if you, it doesn't, it is not detrimental to have taken one and then have failed it. Uh, it's better to have tried and then failed in their eyes. So AP has definitely helped me a lot. In, in that regard and definitely helped me uh, save money in college and get past all the general education, which is really nice because you got a lot to take. Hi, my name's Kimberly and I was accepted into the University of Florida last year. I'm a health science major and I really do think that my AP classes helped me into getting into the University of Florida. You know, um, they, colleges and universities raise the bar every year in regards to like who they want in their school. And I think that taking AP classes really shows that you want to challenge yourself and you're like, you're ready for that type of, to learn that type of material. I really do think that it helped me with my problem solving skills. It helped me view things from different angles. It helped me become a better team member. I learned how to work with people, which was something that I was not very good at before. And it um, also covered some classes that I needed for my degree. So it saved me time and I didn't have to go and take them or spend money. Hello, uh, my name is Emily Smith. I graduated from DeSoto County High School in 2019. And I just finished my freshman year at UCF with a major in environmental engineering. Um, I was part of the AP program for all four of my high school years. And it helped me a lot um, from my transition from high school to college, especially with my um, college applications. That helped in a couple different ways. I think the most obvious one is the GPA boost. When you do well in those classes, it gives you a GPA boost, and that gives you a competitive edge for um, the recruiters that are looking through your um, applications. And then I think also just as you are doing college level work in those AP classes, that translates really nicely and easily into doing a college level application that is going to look good and make you look successful. <laughs> How did the rigor of AP courses help you in college? So the, 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 the real rigor of the AP courses prepared me uh, a lot more for college than uh, even dual enrollment did. Um, I took dual enrollment at the local college across the street from the high school, and it was n not nearly as rigorous as the AP courses because they obviously can change the test towards the class. But the AP courses really hold you up to the standard set forth by the program. And that's a lot more reflective of a real kind of university environment. And that'll definitely prepare you a little bit more from the kind of rigor of general high school versus a, a, a state college. We all know AP courses are much more rigorous than normal high school classes. And I really do think that alongside with dual enrollment, it helped me, it helped prepare me for the type of workload that I would see at UF. I feel like um, it helped me also manage my time. I have three roommates, two of us took AP and two of us didn't. And you could really see a difference in like just how we managed our time. Um, my other roommate and I, we were much better at having our work completed in time while the other two would sometimes slack off or at the end they would just be rushing and they just wouldn't have that balance that we already have. 
So I really do feel like these courses challenge you and prepare you. So the rigor of AP courses are, are definitely helpful in the translation from high school to college. Um, the level of intensity of the work and the amount of times, time that you need to spend studying each day and each week and the preparation that it takes to succeed in those classes, that, um, that translates really nicely from high school to college. It's nice to form those study habits and um, have a sort of understanding of the level of material in high school that makes the transition so much easier when you get to college because you've already experienced that. What advice could you give a student who is considering taking an AP course? If you want my advice on if you're still hesitant to take one of these courses, you think it'll be too hard, you think it's too much commitment, it's not, and it's it's going to be more beneficial for you in the end. You'll you'll learn, and I'm sure if you're if you're in the position to take one already, I'm sure you can handle the kind of incurred coursework. You'll you'll do fine in it, and even if you don't. Usually, it, I wouldn't worry about your GPA too much. All the AP professors I had in high school were, they didn't try to uh, take down my high school GPA, so don't worry about that. They they try to prepare you for the rigor of the test, but they not they try not to tank your grade. But they will prepare you. Every teacher I had prepared me very well for the AP exam, which is going to be the hardest part of it. So don't worry about getting distracted from your normal classes, the, the, the teacher's there to help you. They're, they're not gonna, they're not gonna kill you with uh, work or anything like that, but th they know what that's happening. They've been doing it for years. And so that, and if, even if you don't do great or anything, don't, don't worry about that. The college, like I said before, the college will see that you tried at least, even if you didn't do it in the end, that's fine. But the, the college loves to see that you tried to expose yourself to these harder courses. I would really encourage any student to take an AP course. It, I mean, challenge yourself, go that extra step, and it will really pay off. You will see a difference when you enter college. If you are a student that is considering taking an AP course, I would definitely encourage you to do so. Um, AP is a really cool way to familiarize yourself with Number one, uh, what college will be like, and number two, specific course materials like psychology or environmental science or calculus, these upper level courses that you wouldn't have the chance to um, experience that course material outside of the AP program that can help you explore your interests in high school and also prepare you for uh, what college will be like. And also that can help you discern, like for me personally, that helped me decide the uh, career path and the major path I wanted to pursue. Do you think you are a better student because of AP? Taking AP is a challenge, yet I think that it has really benefited me in the long run. And this year, I believe that I have become a better student because of AP. After taking my first AP course, although it was rigorous and hard, I would say, I did learn a lot from it, not only because uh, it's so advanced, but because you have to maintain so much time with it. And you're always doing something. It's on the move and it's your own time doing it. It made me into a better student because now I know how to handle those classes from um, like regular classes to even harder classes. That makes me sense. So the transition was kind of difficult, but as soon as I took my first AP course, I, I kind of excelled in my other cor courses that weren't AP. How have you changed as a student? When taking AP classes, it has gave me that college experience that I really liked and it has helped me think critically about um, different types of scenarios that I might encounter in the future. Um, to add to uh, how I changed as a student from before I was taking, was taking AP courses, I kind of pushed through it. I'm not sure if it makes any sense. So beforehand, I would kind of break down easily whenever I was given all this work. But now with it, I can kind of push through it. I don't know how to, more to explain it, but I can get through a book without uh, pausing or taking time and relaxing, I can kind of get through it and I can push myself more to do what I want to do 
Um, I think I'm more strong-minded with things. And I know if I push myself, I can accomplish whatever I want thanks to the courses that I've been taking. Even though sometimes I get doubtful and I'm just like, you know what, I don't know if I can do this. I can, you know, if I can do, if I can take an AP course and I can pass it, then I can pretty much do whatever I want to do. Why would you recommend AP to others? I would recommend taking AP courses because it gives you that sense of excitement that you're taking a higher challenge than you would, and it exploits you to different ideas and helps you find your inner self. From my experience, from my experience after taking AP courses, I would recommend anyone else to take it. Even though they they think it's not worth it, I think it's worth the experience, even if they don't pass it. It's all, you just have to push yourself to do something else that you're not used to, because if you're comfortable with the classes you're taking, and if you're, if you're just too much in your comfort zone, then you're not learning, you're not experiencing, you're not getting to know who you are as a student, who you are as a person. Um, it's just a good experience. And it's fascinating to learn about all the different things. I did not see myself taking any of the AP courses I took, but I did. And I ended up loving them both. So, Which AP classes do you teach? Hello, my name is Mr. Boyce and I teach AP psychology and AP environmental science. And yeah, I hope you would uh, consider taking these courses. They're awesome. Uh, AP psychology, everything to do with the head. You know, all kinds of, uh, you know, why we behave the way we do, what goes wrong when things go wrong up in the squirrel cage up there. Um, talk about psychoanalysis, how we learn, uh, nature versus nurture debates. And then I also teach AP environmental science. And what more current course could you have that deals with global warming, uh, virus uh, spread, malaria and COVID and all? So, um, too many people, populations, um, ecology of different animals and plants. So I hope you would consider to, to uh, sign up for one of these courses. Yes, they're challenging, but really well worth it. Okay. Um, thank you. What is AP World History and AP Human Geography? Hey, guys. Many of you guys know me. I'm Mr. Cornell. I teach AP World and AP Human Geography. Uh, they're both excellent classes. You've got a lot of things that you can learn in high school. And the AP courses like AP World and AP Human are a great starting point to teach you a lot about things. And the nice thing about the class, and I got testimonials I could read you up and down from all my students, that at the end of the day, you're gonna walk out feeling like you're a better student. You're gonna have better study habits. Some kids claim that they have better time management skills by taking these AP courses. I highly recommend it. I would love to see you guys uh, enlist in my class and other teachers' AP classes. So thank you guys for considering it. and Thank you for being part of DHS. How does the AP economics course prepare students for college? Yes, um, I'm uh, Mr. Stark, and I'm coming from uh, overseas teaching the IB program in uh, different international schools. Um, and what I found is that the, the IB and AP economics um, courses do prepare students for college level courses, um, real life. They also get to observe how other countries and economic forces are at work. Um, they get to understand financial markets, financial institutions, how to properly in invest or if they're looking to invest, what kind of uh, detailed plan they can outline. Uh, and then also, you know, it's an exciting course, as you can see, other things that are going on around us right now are, are vital to our understanding. So this is a course that doesn't just stay in the classroom. It also goes outside the classroom and out into the real world. Why students want to take the AP economics course? Well, um, as you know, um, entrepreneurship is one of the four factors of production and economics. So, and then one of the keys to being a successful entrepreneur is the ability to market yourself or market the product that you have. Because when people go to buy a product or they want a service, um, a lot of that is, you know, believing in the product or believing in the person you know, it's, it's also a brand, a brand name that they want to associate themselves with. So 
So you see that a lot in marketing and, you know, a lot of different business factors. Um, and the thing about AP economics is that it also deals with business and finance and these types of um, h- hidden tools that you're going to gain and then also take forward and learn how to market yourself. What is your background to teach economics? The reason why I'm teaching um, economics these days kind of goes back a, long, a little long ways um, is that I used to sell um, uh, candy in school to help pay for my hockey equipment once upon a time. So I learned um, in, in junior high how to be a successful entrepreneur, which helped you know, carry me through a high school when it comes to different kinds of, of sporting equipment. So then also I, I became a social st- in a social studies background with take, taking different courses. And I really um, got excited about the stock market. And I also make um, options trades, stocks trades, things like that. So, um, you know, I've been in tune with that. And then also I've taught um, business management overseas, also internationally, as well as intro to business and BTEC. So I'm certified to teach BTEC, which is an international business program. Um, similar similar to the IB, but it's kind of an alternative program, more hands-on. So we also um, send students out to businesses where they pretty much uh, trail a uh, different service uh, person around. We have some students that are trailing um, executives, some are trailing the, uh, the middle workers, as you can say, and some are even down on the ground floor learning the whole parts of the business. So they kind of change out as well. So you're not just observing one apartment or one department, excuse me. So they get the feel of the whole business from the ground up. And then also that ties into economics because they have to pay pay attention to all those business factors and, you know, what the the sales and the revenue, the marketing, and then future forecast and different things like that. So um, for me, that's exciting. And that's where I like to, you know, spend a lot of my time researching. I watch uh, CNBC and Bloomberg um, you know, different, uh, stock and, um, economic channels. So, you know, we, we always have to monitor these things. So for me, it's, it's, uh, a passion. Um, and you know, it's, it's also, um, a way of life. How should a parent view the AP program at DeSoto high school? Son is a 2017 graduate of DeSoto High School. He has been a student at University of Central Florida for three years now. Um, And the benefits that I have seen for him coming out of our AP courses at the high school has just been study skills that he learned um, and to manage his time. So coming out of our high school courses where there are 20 to 30 kids in a class, the AP classes that he took, the teacher cares about you. Um, The teacher is concerned with your grades. Make sure that you're doing it. If you're not, call in your parents. Contrast that with the University of Central Florida, which is one of the biggest in the country. And he was sitting in classes of 300 to 500 kids where not that the teacher wasn't concerned about them, but they don't make necessarily that personal connection with, with every student. So coming out of AP courses, he knew how to study. He knew how to set a timeline for himself. Um, He knew how to dig for information if he wasn't understanding. He knew knew how to go ask questions if he wasn't understanding. Um, And he had that dedication that was needed because he had been through the rigor of those courses before that kept him going in those classes at UCF. What pros and cons did you witness with your child in terms of academic rigor within the AP course? Most of the things that I saw with him while he was at the high school with his AP courses were all positive. He had a positive experience with everything, Um, generally passed all of the tests. I think the only one that he did not pass was the AP calculus, which is the one that I teach with him. Um, However, even that came out to be a positive for him. So even though he passed the class with me for AP Calculus, um, when he didn't pass that test, it had him taking some different remedial courses at the University of Central Florida when he got there. Um, And even in doing that, by the time he got back to Calculus 1, he remembered the content that we had done. He was able to keep up with the class. Um, it was even a little bit easy for him because he had the content from before. So even though he had a bad experience where he did not pass the test for credit, um, 
it gave him enough background that when he was in that class in the university that he did not struggle like the other students did. Why take an AP class instead of dual enrollment? My name is Mrs. Chidsey, and I teach AP U.S. History, and I'm also a formid, avid elective teacher. Um, and so I just wanted to talk to you a little bit um, about why the avid elective teacher is important when we're promoting AP. Um, one of the uh, experiences that I had as an elective teacher was making college visits with the students and being able to talk to admin, uh, college adminish, admissions officers and then students that were attending as well. Um, and so when you're looking at why you should be taking an AP class, the question that I asked every time I went on a college visit was, what are you looking for? Are you looking for the AP classes or are you looking for the dual enrollment classes? Um, and they would tell me that they're looking for a blend. They believe that the students in taking a dual enrollment class get used to what a uh, class schedule is like. But one of the things that they stressed is how important the rigor was that was coming from the AP classes that would prepare students for college. Um, and so they're looking for that challenge from students. Uh, even more so if a student doesn't do well in their first AP class, and sometimes they don't because it's such a different uh, curriculum and the challenges and the rigor are so much more intense, um, they are, you know, if you don't do well, but then you go back and take another class. Those are the things that they're looking for as well, because it speaks to the type of student that you are, that you're not looking for the easy way out and saying, you know what, that was hard. I'm just going to stick with dual enrollment. Um, but that you're looking for the challenges because you will see those challenges in college. And it gives a hint of, you know, student success that will take place. Um, so it's very important to, again, have that blend and don't fear the AP experience. Um, with dual enrollment, a lot of times uh, the professor does gear their class towards their final exam because they're writing their final exam. Um, with an AP course, our job is to prepare you uh, for what we don't necessarily know is on the test. We are going to teach you the content um, and the skills that go with it. In particular, with AP U.S. History, um, it is reading intensive. You're going to learn about the history of the United States. Um, from its very beginning all the way up until current times. But along with that, we teach you to think critically about how America was formed and the issues, foreign policy, domestic policies, um, and teach you to write, to be able to formulate a thesis statement and then back it up with evidence. Um, and those are skills um, that you learn and that we make sure that you're ready to uh, go off to college with to be able to write in any course. What does my junior or senior year look like if I only take dual enrollment classes? The um, things to consider when you're looking at AP versus dual enrollment is if you do shy away from the AP classes and you decide you're going to go for the for sure credit um, is that you're taking yourself out of the high school environment. And while it's really exciting to go and see what college is all about, you have waited um, your entire educational career to be that senior in high school. And what we have seen happen in pursuit of that degree, trying to get that AA before I leave um, high school, is that um, loss of connection with the high school, loss of connection in all the activities that go on because you don't feel that you belong to the high school anymore, um, but you're not really sure where you fit in with the college experience either. And so um, that balance is really important to make sure that, you know, with the AP classes that you will stay on campus and understand that you're in a unique time period where you get to bounce between being a kid and being an adult with different responsibilities. You know, you're still at home, though, so you can be that kid hanging out with, you know, your friends and, you know, going to McDonald's and giggling and, um, you know, guys do, I'm a girl, so whatever guys do. Um, instead of, you know, really missing out on those experiences because you've taken yourself out of that environment. Um, so remember to, to stay, you know, be part of the high school, enjoy the activities that we have here and hold on to that experience. Don't try and launch yourself off into an adult too early because you have the rest of your life to be an adult.